Stricter penalties for catalytic converter thieves. A bill passed the state Senate today named after a Harris County deputy who was killed by three people who tried to steal the part from his truck. KXN's Brianna Hollis has more on the bill and the wide impact of this crime. It's a 10 month repair. Someone stole Joe Clonin's catalytic converter off his car from his gated apartment complex in June of last year. Two months went by, six months went by, and basically there's no end. Not only is he still out of car, he's also out a lot of money. Insurance is saying they will write me a $400 check for a $3,000 part. According to State Farm, catalytic converter thefts have risen 400% since 2019. Last year, off-duty Harris County Deputy Darren Almendarez was shot and killed when he confronted three suspects going after his catalytic converter in a grocery store parking lot. In February, Cedar Park Police found two men with 28 suspected stolen catalytic converters. SB 224, passed by the state Senate Monday, aims to change that. A very violent crime, a very sophisticated crime. The bill issues harsher penalties for individuals even found in possession of catalytic converters unless it's for a business reason. No good reason that you should be in possession of a catalytic converter, and the presumption should be that it's stolen because this is not a victimless crime. The legislation also specifically aims to stop crime rings that target the car parts, making it a first degree felony for groups or individuals involved with possessing more than $300,000 worth of converters. And if the suspect use a gun during the theft, the punishment would increase as well. Yeah, so I hope the stricter punishment will, will help. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And we reached out to Clonant Insurance Company to ask about coverage for stolen catalytic converters. We're still waiting to hear back. According to the witness list for the bill, multiple law enforcement agencies spoke in favor of the bill and no one went on the record against it. The bill will now go to a House committee. And it doesn't take long for thieves to steal these converters. Police say a person can roll underneath a car and roll back out with it 30 seconds later. Now here's why police say these converters are so valuable for criminals. Some of the metals are more valuable than an ounce of gold. And depending on the vehicle the device is taken from, someone selling the part can get over $1,000. It can cost several thousand dollars to replace the device, and that's not to mention a month's long wait for repairs. First warning was.